Welcome, we are with the Information Technology and Networking Program. I'm Debbie Brown, I'm one of the instructors. I am Kaylin Underwood, I'm a student. Sean Lindsay, one of the instructors. Welcome, Welcome to Tech Tuesday. Tuesday! Today we're gonna to be making a Windows to Go USB. So what that does is let you plug that USB into any computer anywhere and you'll actually boot to your own Windows, which means all your files and documents will be there, which works great in the classroom for our students with their labs. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is plug in my USB drive, and I like to use a 3.0, which is the blue color because it's faster speed. And then I'm going to use a program called Rufus. And then this program will allow me to write the ISO file windows to the USB. So basically, here you can select your device. I only have the one device in there, so we'll select that drive. And then uh, the boot selection, you can choose like if you're going to do Linux or something, but we're going to do ISO, uh, Windows ISO. And then you click select to find your file. And then I, there's a few files on here, but this is the Windows 10 file I'm going to use. And then you want to from here you can change the image option which is standard Windows installation which would be like uh, to install Windows from a, a fresh win install but we're going to do Windows to go which is what they explained earlier where you can just start Windows from any computer uh, as your own OS and then the partition scheme you'll use MBR if you, if you use the other one then uh, when you start up it'll crash um, and then basically down here you can change your volume label so I can, I can name it Kalen which is just the, the label of the drive. Um, file system, you want NTFS, that's all you can select. Um, I leave the cluster size at uh, about 4,000 bytes. And then from here, it's, it's fairly simple. You just press start, and then I'll choose Pro. And that's it. And then it'll just it'll start to write. All right, so now I have the ISO file on this USB drive. So I'll plug it in and boot the computer up. And then from here, you can basically use this like any other Windows computer. Um, and that's all you need to do to create a bootable Windows to go USB drive. And the reason why I like it is because it's portable. You can take Windows anywhere you go. Um, any computer that's out there, I can boot my own OS from it. And this is just one of the many things that I've learned in the IT program here at OTEC.